And if you ever think about how much energy the immune system uses, think about if you've ever had the flu, how you feel. I mean, people just get totally wiped out. They can't even get out of bed. And if that doesn't give you an indication of how much energy the immune system has to use to fight off a pathogen, that's a really good indication. So it consumes a lot of energy in the body. So just to go over again, here are the systems that are affected by stress. The nervous system, the respiratory system, cardiovascular system, digestive system, musculoskeletal system, and immune system. Did I miss anything? <laughs> I don't think so. So you are, you're in totality. You can be depleted by this. Okay. In tr according to tr traditional Chinese medicine, and we talked about the Jing, Qi, and Shen, okay? The Jing is affected because the kidney adrenal system is being taxed. The adrenals are, are being called to pump out those, those, uh, those hormones all the time. You will eventually start to experience adrenal exhaustion. And that's the kidney energy being sucked up just to support all of the stress that your body is going through, okay? The qi, the production of qi, is totally cut off because both the digestive system and the respiratory system are, are involved. And the post, what we call post-heaven qi, energy that your body creates from the food that you eat and the air that you breathe is totally stopped. So you are no longer producing the energy that you need to function on a day-to-day -day basis. So what will your body do? It will actually go for the reserve energy, which is the jing. That's like the time-released energy, okay? And again, the shen, or the spirit, is, is definitely affected because you are agitated. You're in a, you're in a state of, of, of apoplexy, almost. Okay, so here are some of the things that can help ameliorate the stress in your life. Yoga is certainly one of them, but the breathing exercises are ones that you can do that are very, very simple, and you can do them in you know, the span of a few minutes. The thing to remember is that it's the deep breathing, because if you can control your breath, you can control your emotions. So the deep breathing is very, very important in this kind of a situation. Make sure that you're breathing from below the navel, okay? And just take a few breaths. Uh, creative outlets, gardening, singing, playing. Um, I can remember when I was a kid, I used to love to garden. And that being, that connection to the earth, as we can all attest to right now, and David can certainly attest to that, being connected to that earth energy just really does drain stress from your body. So that's an incredible one. Engaging in social activities, developing routines for handling stress, and it doesn't have to be a complicated routine. It can be something as simple as an ohm. And I, that's from personal experience. Um, when I step onto an airplane, I tend to be a little bit of a control freak in my life, just, just a tad, okay? But when you step into a plane, you give all of that up, okay? And what I do is, uh, I have a, a recording of the great Ohm, and I play that through the whole flight, <laughs> through the whole flight, and it, and it just keeps me calm. It's really great. Spend more time with happy people and less time with unhappy people. And, I'm <laughs> and <laughs> I don't, I'm, I'm not being hard here, um, but uh, you know, the, that saying about liver, uh, misery loves company, uh, it's not a good energy because if, if anything that uh, quantum physics has taught us is that uh, when we are in the vicinity of negative energy, we are absorbing that negative energy. So uh, unhappy people certainly have to be helped 
but it's much better to spend time with people who are in, in an up mood and have a lot to give. Okay, now we're gonna go through a little bit of the, uh, the herbal formulas. Chai Hu Longu Muli Tang, Buplerum and Dragon Bone. Okay. Um, I took about 12 of these this before I came up here today. <laughs> and why? Because it helps restore the normal function of the hypothalamic pituitary adrenal axis. So what this formula does is it will actually put a filter on what the hypothalamus is interpreting as stress internally. Okay, so it'll cut it right from the, right the get-go. Prevents chronic stress-induced decreases in extracellular concentrations of dopamine and serotonin in the prefrontal cortex. Again, when I was talking about the executive decisions that you have to make, it's because those uh, substances start to decrease in, stress, in stressful situations. So this formula actually will reduce that also and reduces some of the adrenal hormones also for stress. So this is an amazing formula. It's not a formula that is really meant to be taken long, time, uh, long term, but it certainly is a formula that you can take during certain situations to get through difficult times in your life, uh, you know, difficult areas, you can certainly do it for a while. And here's a quote from someone I think we're familiar with about adaptogenic herbs considered to be rejuvenative, tonic, and restorative. In present day scientific literature, they are considered to counteract the impact of stress upon the body. So that is any of the adaptogenic herbs. And I'm just gonna go over a couple of them. Um, I am a reishi junkie, okay? I, I, would <laughs> I would like to see everyone get addicted to this herb. It should go into the water supplies. Okay, <laughs> all right. It enters the heart, the liver, and the lung. It calms the mind, sedates the central nervous system. So again, it's going to have a direct impact on the hypothalamus pituitary adrenal axis. Eases tension, sharpens concentration, improves focus, and builds willpower. This is the mushroom of immortality uh, and good fortune. Uh, I all sometimes refer to this as the, the psychic janitor. If you've got any psychic garbage that needs to be cleaned up, reishi is the one to choose to do that. But it does give you a feeling of being grounded and centered and in charge of your own destiny. It gives you that kind of willpower. And I... How do you use the mushrooms? How do... Uh, well, you can take it in any form. You can take it in its uh, you can you can take it in its raw form, and you need to grind it up to make sure that you're breaking the cell structure because it's a very woody mushroom. It's got a cellulose uh, structure to it. You have to really crush it. I use the extracted form, which has already been crushed by uh, hot water and pressure. Uh, it's a lot more convenient for me to do that, but you can do it in liquid form, in its raw form. However you do it, you know, get it into your body. It'll improve your life tremendously. Okay.